I'm Antoni. Hello again. Um, first of all, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We're getting closer and closer, so I'm good and feeling ready. When do you expect to be back? Because the ban is over on January the 17th, and the first game after that is Nottingham Forest at home. Do you expect to be available on the, for that one on the bench? Um, I hope so. I hope I hope I'm I hope I'm available, ready to fit straight in. But obviously, it's up to the manager. The manager just got a decision to make. So I guess I've just got to be ready and fit, and hopefully he picks me. What would be the word that describes your mood at the moment? Hungry, hungry and excited. I feel because obviously being being out for so long, especially when it's not an injury, it's kind of like knowing you're able to play but not being able to play kind of thing. So it's just more more hungry, hungrier to want to get back on the pitch and do what I enjoy doing. Mentally, and you touched on it a second ago, if you're not injured, how does a sportsman begin to cope with eight months away from the game? In the first place, I feel like, personally, I... Like, I didn't watch football. I didn't watch football for a while. Um, How long? I'd say a month and a bit. I didn't really watch. I only would watch Brentford games. I'd flick it on now and then. I'd have it in the background, just listen to the chances or the scoreline and things, things, things like this. But then, like, before that, I was watching every game, every Premier League game that was possible, every League One that was on TV, obviously coming from them leagues, so League Two. Then I kind of, like... In a way, I kind of punished myself, like not watching games. I kind of thought, "What's well, that's not really helping me. Like, it is what it is. The situation's done. So, watch football, enjoy it, and then know when you get back, you got things to do." But yeah, mentally it was tough. But then I feel like I'm quite strong in that sense. I try not let to uh, let things get to me, and kind of just brush it aside and just continue on going. How low did it get? Um, I, uh, there was a stage I probably did fall out of love of football for, for a bit. But then it's kind of like football is all what I really, what, it's, it's all what I know really. Um, I'm playing football from a young age also. It's kind of like what I'm used to. And then missing the game for a while, not even being around my teammates, it was, it was tough. I feel like I'm a big personality in the change room. Also, I like to if I was happy, bring others up and just be the fun character around the training ground. And that loneliness, that exile, and that not being able to even train with your teammates. I know you've spoken about how difficult that was for you. Yeah, it was tough. Obviously, you just think when you got it down to yourself to train, you kind of think, oh, I can miss today, I'll go tomorrow. I'll miss this tomorrow, I'll go the next day. And then before you know it, you're putting on weight and you're getting heavy and you're not, not doing the right things in the same habits, you're picking up bad habits. But you really pushed yourself. You had that mentality to, to not fall into that, didn't 100%, you? 100%, 100%. I feel like, to be honest, the first week or two, I kind of just thought, forget it, I'll just chill and when I get back, I'm ready to go. But then obviously the people around me made sure that that wasn't the case and was pushing me and I feel like I'm in probably better shape than I was but uh, when, when I left to, to that I am now, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm down in weight. I'm more shredded. I've been hitting gym every day, and I think everybody that follows me and uh, is around me, if they, if they can't find me, I'll be in the gym. <laughs> Did you have any kind of mentor going through the last eight months? Um, I feel like my friends and family, and also my dad, like. This, this yeah, elite mentality he kept on saying to me you're the elite player like make sure you're doing these things and pushing yourself and like when that's getting drilled into your head you start to believe it and understand you're an elite player so when you get back show your eliteness so I think the, the people around me have really helped me um, especially my PT had Jim Burnside is pushing me. His mentality is different. He's gone through a lot, but it's still getting me in the gym, doing gym with me, doing these kind of things. 
So, yeah, I think everyone close to me, everyone has played a part to keep me on the right track and making sure I don't, I don't fall off and making sure I come back in the best shape possible. Thomas Frank has been nothing but the biggest help I could have asked for. The whole club has, um, from putting extra sessions on for me, from taking their time out to put a session on, go outside when it's raining, when they're not even supposed to be in, these kind of things. So it's kind of like, I have a lot to be paying and I can't wait to try and do that. I even gather some of the team, your teammates, the messages just to lift you up and we're really sending you that kind of support that helped in those dark moments. Yeah, there was literally everybody. But yeah, I can go through the whole team that everybody, everybody sent me messages, especially the captain before Pontus was talking to me about the whole situation. Christian Norgard throughout the time, he sat me down and was like, how are you? Like, how are you and yourself? Is everything okay? And that meant a lot, like, to hear that, for somebody actually to sit me down and ask me that question, because I feel like my, my kind of personality is a strong personality, and like, I'm normally, why well, I always am this bubbly person, these kind of things. But for someone to actually sit you down and ask you actually, how are you? Even though I'm always good, and even when I'm not good, I will be good. And for him to ask that, it meant a lot and showed that he actually cared. So, and as well as all, like I said, all the other teammates that would be messaging me and these kind of things. So, for him to actually come up to me, like I said, being a big personality. How was your mental health over the past eight months? It was a bit of a roller coaster, but like, like I said, how I am, I feel like I'm quite strong, and just look at the positives in life. In life, I always think that's always. Somebody worse off, and my situation. Yes, the situation is I just can't play football. I know people in life are fighting for their life, so things like this, you can't take nothing for granted, and you just gotta look look at the positives. And things happen for reasons. What are the targets for the second half of the season? Because again, it's good. a lot of focus is gonna be on you, and you clearly have a lot of confidence in your ability, but what's realistic and what's not? I think it's just coming back as strong as possible. Yeah. Uh, I know it's, I've got a short space of time to find my form, but I'm sure I will, and I, I'm capable of doing that. And the vision in my head I see coming back, firing straight away. And yeah, I, I, want, I want to be playing to the highest level possible in myself, enjoying football again. You're not naive, you know that there's going to be a lot of headlines, uh, a lot of news stories around your return. Um, you've had the spotlight on you ever since you were a 16-year-old at Northampton, scoring goals uh, for them. Do you feel, how do you feel that helps you to deal with the scrutiny that you're going to be under? Um, yeah, like I said, I've always thrived off pressure. like. Whenever I get penalties, these, these kind of things, and everybody's all like on the edge of their seats, like, is he going to score, is he going to miss? Like, I back myself to score. Like, every time I cross the white line on the pitch, I, I, I believe I'm going to score today. So, yeah, there's going to be eyes on me, whether thinking, people thinking, can he do it again? Can he just fire straight away? Like, I know what I'm capable of. I know what I've got to do. And, as soon as I'm on that pitch, I can't wait to show what I'm about again and remind people what they've missed. Going into this transfer window, you are probably the most talked about player, let alone striker, uh, in Europe. What sort of striker do you see yourself as? All around, I feel. I feel like I'm capable of doing a lot of things. I think I can press. I think the, uh, the pressing stats were, were quite high. Me and me and my strike partner Brian at the time, I think it was like one of the top two in, in, in terms of pressing. I can score goals, I can bring others into play. I feel like all round I'm capable of doing all kind of bits running behind. But it's just, I feel like in certain games it's kind of different and it's different styles of play of how managers want you to play. So I feel like in games before when I was playing, it's kind of like drop deep and let the others run behind you and Sometimes they stretch the pitch, going behind and stay high. So I, I kind of have to vary my game. One of the things you missed out on was 
the World Cup, is the European Championship a target for you? 100%. I feel like that, that's the aim. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the goal to, to try and get back to my form and be, be involved in that. Um, we know there's other great stri strikers around at the moment and they're all doing so well, but it's up to me whether I come straight back firing and put my name in the frame to, uh, to be looked at. But yeah, it's just going to take hard work, dedication, and like you said, that's a goal to look towards and being involved in that would be a massive achievement. Well, when you think about it, you got into the England pitch scoring goals for Brentford, so there's no reason why that can't happen in a Brentford shirt, is there? Correct, yeah. I, I think if, if, if someone is scoring goals and doing well, no matter who they're playing for, it's, it's, a, it's a great chance to put, put, put yourself forward to, to be in the window to be playing for England. But like I said, there's great strikers around at the moment, but I'm sure if I do what I'm capable of, which is scoring goals and assisting, then I give myself a great chance.